Okay, friendos. What a friggin' morning. Oh, man. How y'all doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I had uh, multiple technical uh, difficulties this morning. I was going to say hurdles, difficulties. So my camera wasn't working, had to figure out what was going on there, but it wasn't my camera, it was my capture card. So I'm actually using a backup right now, which I can't believe I have a backup. $200 capture card doesn't work, GG. And then uh, my sound wasn't working. I don't know if this was like a Windows update thing or what, but I pushed the stream till like two in the afternoon for my, my time. And then I was like, I don't know, I'm just gonna try a few things and ultimately I'll have to figure out this capture card issue later today. I can't believe I have a second one. Good for me. Um, but anyways, KVK, that's happening. Streams on a bit of a delay because uh, real time information is a bit of an issue here. And uh, it's been really, really crazy. Um, 1960 is still holding and they gained ground overnight, if you can believe it. They, they actually gained ground overnight, which is surprising. But basically 960 has uptime during 93's downtime. So like 960 is actually possibly making a comeback right now, which is really crazy. 960 might actually be making a comeback from this corner. Now, several other things have happened. Let's start by looking over here. Up in this portion of the map, okay, up in this portion of the map, we've been trying to take out these forts, but they bring their field up here. And like, obviously we can't take the field of 93. So when they bring two alliances up here, I mean, I don't know how many players they're actually bringing, but they bring enough that we can't take out their building forts. So they basically put flags in front of them, blocking the building forts. And we have to take out the flag, then the fort, and we can't get both in time. So we've done that a couple times now. Presumably the same song and dance will happen today, where at some point they'll decide the forts are low enough that they'll delete them, put a flag in front to block, and then blah, blah, blah. We go through the whole rigmarole. So that's been going on over here with 93 and us. Meanwhile, we cleared out all the 960 presents over here by this sanctuary that we took. So we got the sanctuary and we cleared all of GT out of here. And uh, GT, we left them with a fort over here and they just deleted it. They were like, you deal with 93 at this pass. We don't want to deal with 93 over here anymore. So they literally deleted this thing. Um, yep, that happened. So... We now built in around this area and they deleted this. I guess 93 wasn't able to push us. It has all happened when I slept, but we built up in this area. We now own this pass and uh, we're burning 93 over here. But if you thought that was major, let me tell you, there's more to cover. Let me just um, share the fact that we're live here on my Discord server, discord.gg slash shiskool. Um, let's see, what do we say? Red line, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Thank you for the 42 months. I appreciate you, bro. Forty-two months is a damn long time. I appreciate you, man. Um let's see here. Live streaming now. Get this message on the Discord server, discord.gg slash chiskool. Hope you'll come and check it out. Okay. 
The word is out. We're live. Um, for those just tuning in, I had a bunch of technical difficulties this morning. My audio didn't work. My video didn't work. I think my capture card somehow died with a Windows update or something. I'm still not sure. So I'm going to have to get it all sorted out. Now, the G4s have been pressuring 93 basically constantly, which is exactly what they need to do. Um, and it is fun to watch it happening. I'm sure for 93, they feel differently because like basically in a last kingdom standing KVK, AKA free for all, there's a lot of incentive. Oh my God, Figaro, you did not just do that. Holy cow. Yo, let's get some hype in the chat for Figaro with the freaking 50 gifted. Holy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate you. 50 of them. That's big. Wow, man. That is extremely generous. Thank you, dude. Look at all those gifts coming through. Dang. On the topic of coming through, wait a minute. Chat, what is this? The G4s are on the freaking prowl. The G4s took this Heron? And the G4s have moved in? On zone six? They're gonna take this sanctuary? They're gonna take this circle? The G4s are going to take this circle, bro? Okay, that circle's dog doo-doo, but whatever. All this blue? Wait. All this blue. This, this is the starting zone. <laughs> All this blue up here, though? Dark blue? My friends, this is the G4s. The G4s are actually taking over 93's territory in zone 6. The G4s have the sanctuary. Chat, the G4s are, are actually closer to the Kingsland passes than we are. <laughs> the G4s are on their way to Kingsland. No cap. The G4s are actually going to Kingsland. They are on their way. They are actually on their way to Kingsland. Unbelievable, baby. I told you. G4 is for president. Um, ooh, flaggies. So we're we we've built a lot here, obviously. Um We've built down to this circle and they got a lot of forts here. So we got a lot to do if we're gonna get anywhere over here. Many hours of things to do. All right. Meanwhile, over here, this is um, the zone five for GT. We've built down to the southern. My captain is here. I'm going to have to pick that up at some point. We've built down to this southern Heron, and, and we disconnected all of GT land, chat. Look, we, we literally disconnected all of GT. All this gray is GT. Look. We disconnected all of, of 1960 GT. Disconnected. I don't know what this is. What's this? This is not GT. This is GT. 60 GT is disconnected, bro. Ineffective. And we're literally, in just a second, about to cut MX. Figaro says, rewarding people who got here early. I appreciate you, broski. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you for your generosity. Look at this. We are we are about to cut MX. 
All this MX land. All this MX land. Dude, 1960 is going to have like nothing left in their starting zone. Nineteen sixties literally gonna have like nothing left in their starting zone. And that's about to happen. Three. Two. One. And we did it. Look at that. You can't tell. Because I would need to... There it is. Zoom in, zoom out. All disconnected. <laughs> Chat, this KVK is insane. Jar says the goaded force. Yeah, so uh, in voice chat, we've been having a lot of fun. And uh, the G in G4s actually stands for the goaded force. The goaded force. Right there. It's not groups of four, it's the goaded force. Things getting really interesting. The victory went to 960. I mean, I don't know if I'd say that. Hey, um, is there anyone in the south that is porting back to the north? Maybe Shademaker? Shademaker, can I just put my garrison in your city and we just, it'll go wherever you go? How about that? Was that Binu? You said you're porting back over? Okay, I'll go in your city, Binu. Joseph, thank you for the super chat. With all the kingdoms getting closer to Kingsland, do you think it would be smart play for 93 to capture and build off to those last two passes into Kingsland? Um, man, I don't know what 93 should do. They just need to win already. If they're gonna win, they need to like, they need to get on it. They need to, they need to finish with 960 and then do other things, I guess. I don't know. I do not know, bro. The goaded fours are on the move. Oh yeah, no, we we gotta buckle in for a long ride. When I swarmed, I just swarmed with uh, my archers and my calves. Just get rid of those. Uh, Binu, I am in your city. Dude, I think I need to start proactively gemming cheap 50% expansions because uh, we're going to need them. Yeah, I mean, you go through like three to four a day pretty easily on the 50% expansions. Oh, yeah, you, uh, yo, you put me right on the front line. All right. I'll march it back to my city. No, you're good. I mean... I I, I saw we were needing a little bit of support on the BH fort, so I started, I poured it over and I started swarming it. Um, and some of my trades were good, some of my trades were less good, but.
605 for Zig. I don't think we can get the Zig. I think that's pretty unrealistic. I think that everyone needs to be a lot more drained for that to even be a conversation. The, the real battles are starting now. I have been saying for a month that the KVK only really starts when Kingsland opens. I have been saying for so long and nobody understood. Nobody understood. And now they're seeing. I called this. So there were two groups of people. The people who were like, Chiskul, you're dumb. And the people who listened. And here we are. I will break my arm patting myself on the back. Told you it would be crazy. People were like, oh, Chiskul, you're kicked to your starting zone. You lose. I mean, how's it look now, bro? Not saying we're winning. I'm not saying we're going to win. I'm saying the KVK only really started when Kingsland opened. That's what I'm saying. Here we are. Y'all crying about 2605, letting them fight when this KVK is not all about 1093, 1960. Yeah, I, I don't know what world people live in that they think that all the other kingdoms in this KVK should sit aside and let these two duke it out. If they wanted to have their 1v1, they had half a dozen different opportunities to set that up, and they didn't. It was actually specifically 1960 who walked away from those opportunities when they said it's 2v1. And it's funny because people are complaining that we're eating up a lot of 1960 territory, which is only because we can. Like, uh, we're trying to get into here, but we can't get into here, right? So the only reason we're eating up land in here is because we can get into here and we got into here. It's pretty straightforward. Right? Like, people think we're focusing 1960. No. It's just been the only thing we could do. So we're doing it. And the KVK funness level is kind of ramping up right now, I'm not going to lie. After the MX cut, GT can't even flag to Zig because they're out of resources, lol. So is GT definitely not getting the 10th star? I mean, I'm sure they can figure out... I don't know where their forts are. I'm sure GT is smart enough to have looked at their forts and what they could do to sort out their territory. Right, They got a GT fort here and a GT fort there. Where are the MX forts? They got an MX fort here... And they got an MX fort here. I mean, at some point, they can just give up this MX fort if they want. You know? Right now, they don't want to, which is fine. Chat says, uh... I hope G4s are winning this KVK. I, I think it is pretty unlikely that the G4s win. I think it's pretty unlikely that we win. I think one of two outcomes will happen. And let's let's just run a poll for what you all think. Who is winning this KVK? Nineteen sixty. Ten ninety-three. Twenty six oh five. G4s. So the weird thing is that the longer this fight goes on here, the better it is for 1960. The longer this goes on, the better it is for 1960. 1960 wins by draining. 1093 wins by overwhelm. 
So the fact that we're on day four of King's Land is actually a not good thing for 93. Now, 93 will come into uptime over the course of the next five to six hours, and we'll see what happens. But like, I don't know, man. This KVK is still up for grabs. Less people think 1093 are going to win than before, which is like definitely understandable. Crazy. I mean, GT's building, man. They're they're on the freaking move. Hey, uh, is there somewhere we wanted to build? Are we chilling? Okay, great. Good. Very good. Dude, GT is is like actually on the prowl right now in King's Land. Do you see this? Yeah, they're they're building. They are also burning in some places. I don't know. The rallying pass eight right now? Oh, I want to watch that. Ooh. Uh oh, there's no reinforcements. What are they up to? I bet you they're filling it with farms. Th this would signify to me the GT strategy of winning KVK with farms, honestly. I, I said it the other day on stream and people thought I was a lunatic. I was like, farms are going to win this KVK. But like, those are all T4s, man. That's a, that's a full T4 rally. They don't even care if they trade well. They're just killing off their T4s to kill off probably mains from 93. No, dude, the G4s are, are crushing. They're cruising. People called me an idiot when I said that Farms are, are like the core part of the GT strategy and that farms are going to win this KVK. But like, dude, that's what they're doing. They're just killing troops using farms however they can. Ooh, 93 on the move. Ooh, rally in. Chat says, uh, oh, hey, just how did the hospital scans go? Uh, they were good. So for context, I got a preventative scan it's a full body mri this is something that my wife learned about from an influencer because there's been a bunch of people who because american health insurance is really dumb get a scan cheaper for a full body scan than they can a scan of a specific part of their body it's just really weird but then a, some people were doing that and they were catching things like undiscovered cancers, etc. And it's been really like actually life-saving as a preventative measure for a number of people. So my wife got really into this and she's like, we're going to get these scans. And it's like 2000 bucks a person. I mean, it, it ain't, it ain't cheap. Uh, but we went, we did it. And my scan results came back. And for the most part, 
there wasn't a lot of stuff that I learned that was new, although there is a thing or two I need to go, you know, either look at or address. Nothing too alarming, but there is some follow-up I need to do, actually. I took some notes about it. There was like something really weird they learned about my heart. I forget what it was called. It's like fine, but different. And there's a name for it and I don't remember what it is. But TLDR for now, I'm chilling. And that's just kind of an oversimplification of the results, but like, I don't know. Y'all don't need to know all the details. If GT wins, then GT dies, IMO. If the mighty 1093 can't beat them, nobody should ever try. I don't know if I agree with that, but this is getting like pretty alarming, I think, for 93. This can this continued conflict is very alarming for them. Like they need to shut the door on this already. Ask for the rally report, Pro. You're delusional, lol. 93 will have uptime and GT will be back to hopping. Yeah, I mean, it, it's entirely possible that 93 gets back in and cleans everything up. But like, we are on day four of these shenanigans, right? We, we are on day four of this. Why is 2605 doing nothing? Oh, we have done so much more than nothing. We... Dude. We cleaned out this whole area. We now control this pass instead of 960. We're burning 93 here. We're burning 93 there. We're burning 960 here. I don't know what you mean. Why are you guys doing nothing? We just cut GT and MX. Hey, do you guys see that MX deleted all their flags? Do you see that? MX actually deleted all their flags. They deleted the whole line. Do you see? That's crazy. Wow. That is wild. I'm going to mute to stream real quick to ask this question. Um, I do have my captain available piece. If we wanted to ball up and do that, that's the thing we could do. Yeah. Yeah, for sure.
All right, chat. I upgraded my port spot. What's up, Shappy? How's it going? All right, all right. Chat says 2605 is just being annoying. That is a lot more than annoying. Taking over a zone five? Are you serious? That That is a lot more than just annoying. Like, we're, we're literally ripping buffs from them. That's... Pretty significant. Chat says they just picked up the forts. They did not just pick up the forts. We we cut their territory. What do you mean? What do you mean? We cut the territory. They did not pick up forts. They have not picked up forts. I'm ready whenever. There's a funny comment in the chat about fighting with honor. Um, Y'all familiar with how the United States got their freedom? The honorable way of fighting was to have everybody line up and shoot at each other until one side or the other had lost. That was the honorable way of fighting. And uh, they were going to lose for sure if they continue to fight that way. So they didn't. So if people don't like the way we're playing this KVK, like, yeah, maybe we should just run in like idiots and lose. And uh, that's honorable. But uh, I think that's just delusional. Chess is why are you only fighting on the 960 side? We're not only fighting on the 960 side. What are you talking about? We're burning 493 forts right now. 
We're, we're literally burning 493 forts right now. We can't get into their side. Mind the politics chat, please. No politics. We ready to do this thing? Ah, you ready to drop? My captain's here. I just don't know where you're putting it. Yeah, I think so. Let's get it down. Is it is it going like left of my city? I mean, the crystal's a nice pickup. Uh, can you title me so I can make myself captain. And uh, Billy can also captain me since he's currently captain. Fight with honor is something that only someone much stronger would say. Yeah. Why aren't you fighting stupid the way I need you to fight? Jeez. Why aren't you guys being dumb? I need you to be dumb. <laughs> These trolls are insane. I can try to explain it like that. But like... Y'all are struggling, some people, to understand the stupidity of that. I don't know how to help them. How dare you be smart? How dare you be strategic? How dare you? <laughs> what? Do you know how dumb that sounds? Um, I don't know if they'll ever make old Zenith skins. Uh... Accessible.
You don't go to kingdom like 2605 to get a farming KVK? Yeah, we haven't had a farming KVK, actually. Y'all have some weird takes on this. All right, let me try and say this the way you're saying it. You're saying, how dare we not fight the way they want? How dare we play smart? Um, how dare they not delete troops to match our power? How dare they not have the honor to delete their troops to match our power? How dare they? How dare they not delete troops to fight honorably and have power for power? How dare they? How dare they? That's just as stupid. Just maybe easier for you to understand, like to understand. I don't know what to tell you. How dare they not delete down to match our power? How dare they? They are porting in. Heads up, they're porting in. We may need bodies at marker one. Yep. Leave your troops out. Don't heal your hospital. Be honorable. Yeah. What are we talking about? How dare you fight in KVK? How how dare you? We can also argue that using, yeah, um, you want to talk about honor? You want to talk about honor? Oh man, 960s trying to talk about honor? How many players per account is honorable? Is this like, is this really the route that the that the 960 fanboys want to go? I'm not saying you can't be a 960 fan. Oh, fanboy. Hello. Oh, they're they're going for this. They're going to go for this. I need to like leave this here. If we're talking about honor, if if, if the if y'all want to talk about honor, we could talk about how resources are obtained and the honorability of the obtaining of those resources. 
Is that is that a, is that an argument y'all want to have? I don't expect what people oh i don't understand what people expect you to do just stop playing in a free-for-all yeah it just doesn't make any sense they're definitely porting in they're gonna go for this uh yeah i don't know why everybody left are we just balling up are we giving this up now i guess so No. This is fun.
That's weird. I lost like five seconds there. It's actually kind of concerning. Smash those helps when you get a second as well. Good job, everyone. Really impressive. If my captain leaves, get, I think I check the box and I'll be okay, but I'm getting ready to put it back in. It got out. I'm captain. Built back up, a couple people left. They are hitting the flag. Fill it. Uh, okay, they stop. They stop. We're, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. I haven't checked.
Great work. We did what we needed to do. And now we keep it up. That was good. Do we have a rally pinned on it? <clears throat> okay. Shade's got it set. That was crazy, man. Quite a tussle, you know? I'm glad my city is where it is. We chilling in this mightiest governor chat? Am I gonna get a Lapu Lapu? Am I, am I going to get a little Lapu-Lapu action here? That was kind of nuts, wasn't it? Holy. Sheesh. All right, all right, all right. Hi, yeah. Why Joan Prime and not Nevsky Joan? Cortex did a bunch of testing, and he thought that Joan Prime was actually better. But uh, maybe that's something we'll talk about after KVK, honestly. Presumably these guys are going back into Kingsland, the place that I like. I'm surprised they left to deal with this flag, but whatever. Here we are. <laughs> this guy's taking out his Melfasts. Bruh. You know, you gotta get that done. He's only on level six. He's got a long way to go.
Chat says Lamau 60 gonna get locked by 605. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not though, chat. But here's that flag report. Pacal Henry. Huh. Are we uh, moving the ball now? I don't know how to pronounce your, your name. Uh, Rauberson, welcome to the Smash Squad, dude. I appreciate you. Let's freaking go. Lapu Lapu Max skill testing for tomorrow. Dude, I had someone leave a comment on a vid. It was like, how dare you not have commander testing? And it's like, bro, I'm in KVK. I don't know if I'm doing commander testing. I got KVK things to do. You know what I mean? Like, I got KVK things to do non-stop in this KVK. Uh, technically, I'm in two KVKs, and I'm in a season of Call of Dragons right now. That's about to eat up. I do generally like to do commander testing, and I do appreciate that people come to expect that your boy Chisco Gaming is always going to test commanders when they drop, because that's what I've said I would do. And that's what I do do. But I am in KVK, and this is a special situation versus 1960, you know? You did your own testing long ago with Joan Nev and Nev Joan, and you use Joan Nev as well. The real question is, why did the G4s not attack 960? They could. Uh-oh. They certainly could. Oh, I don't want to miss this. I also don't want to get ambushed on my way over. Oh, did it pop? That was fast. Okay, turn around. Sasuke, what's up, dude? Let's do a gear insanity check here. Gear, armaments, good, 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 we good, 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 good. All right, chat, we're chilling. Let's 
get a look into Kingsland. Ooh. They're about to lose a flag. Getting hit at a couple flags. Oh, man. See, I don't know why they're porting over to take out burning flags versus us when they got bigger fish to fry in Kingsland, right? They're deleting all their flags like that. Kind of reminds me of uh, Alexander the Great burn the boats, you know? There's no going back. Bro, where is this rally going? Wow. That rally took the longest route possible. <laughs> Holy moly. Right through the danger zone. The Frost Dragon raid was sick as hell. I go back to watch that video from time to time. Really? Chat says 2605 shouldn't be attacking anyone. They should just wait. Nah, I disagree. Uh, I definitely disagree with that. Guan in the flag? Guan's still in the flag? Okay. All these GT spaces, hard earned. GG. Oh, some of those are 93. Murky, welcome to the Epic Guard, dude. I appreciate you. Let's get those hype emojis for Murky. Chat says 93 and 2605 versus 60 for real, bro. Really not, not though. Like we are burning 493 forts right now. The only reason that we're not perhaps more engaged with 93 is because we can't get to them. Even if we wanted to, like there's, there's literally, it's not possible right now. So, so even if we wanted to be fighting them, we couldn't be. There's no way. How? We're literally burning 93 at every touch point we have with them. What do you mean? G4s. Looking around. Speaking of burning 93 at every touch point, oh my god, these G4s do be wilding. I mean, they are just cruising, man. Ninety-three had all this, and now it's the G4s. All through here. This is G4s. This is G4s all through here. G4s, G4. Dude, the G4s are on. They're actually going to get to the level 7 pass. You want to talk about allies? The only kingdoms that haven't fought is 960 and the G4s, actually. Now, there are no allies, let's be real. But the only kingdoms that actually aren't fighting is 960 and the G4s. 
I don't know why the G4s haven't taken the Holy Sites from 960. This actually would be a very meaningful attack now. If they take these Holy Sites and we took the other Holy Sites, it's very meaningful. So if you want to be accusing of fishiness, don't look over here. I will just point out these guys could take out these positions if they wanted to and they aren't. And I don't know why. I don't know why these guys are only hitting 93. But in fairness, it does look like 93 is kind of winning right now. So you go after the winner, you know, you do go after the winner. And right now, yeah, 93 is winning for sure. I think it's pretty uncontroversial to say that. Krongihi, what's up, man? I appreciate you, dude. Chet says, why are you not invading the 93 land? Uh, you must have missed what I just said, or it's the three-minute delay, but we're literally burning 93 everywhere we're touching them. It, it is quite literally not possible for us to engage with 93 on more fr fronts. Like, it's, li it's literally not possible. So I, I like the people saying we're allied with 93. I don't know how to help you understand the situation. It's 93's uptime now. The progress will be in vain. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Oh, wow. It's a nice little trade. One flag for three. Aha, it's the live stream fairy. She's brought me seltzer. Hooray. Thank you. Appreciate you. Welcome to the Smash Squad. Um Okay. Chat says the G4s are kind of useless. Dude, the G4s are eating up 93's territory. And it's a, it's enough that they can't go deal with it. Like, it's actually enough that they can't handle it. So, like, I'm not saying they won't be able to go deal with it later. I'm just saying right now it's too much. Chat says y'all are targeting 60. And help me understand who else we could be targeting right now. Just help me understand. Just geographically on the map, help me understand how we could possibly have anyone else to attack. Just help me out on that one. Right? Like when you actually think about what you're saying, it's like, oh. Like I think people just genuinely don't understand. There are not more ways for us to attack 93. There are not more ways for us to hit a G4. We are literally hitting in every zone we can hit. We're hitting in zone five. We're hitting in zone six. We're hitting into this zone six. We took this zone five. Like, what in the world are you talking about? <laughs> Salty just cool. I'm just trying to help people understand. I'm on an education mission here, I guess. People make these comments because they feel the way they feel. But, like, let me just help explain the logic or lack of logic behind what they're saying, I guess. Um, yeah, man. I'd say this is going pretty well this morning, right?
Okay, we can go spectate King's Land now. Let's go look at all the touch points. Let's start with the pass. Looks like they just ran another rally down on this pass. GT flag looking pretty good over here. GT flag burning. Oh, they got my rune march. Figured they would, but it doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> oh man. Chat, that is dirty. That is just dirty. Oh my god. You see that marker I dropped? It's a triangle march marker. I guess it's not quite a triangle. They have a siege march tucked away behind a mountain shooting over the mountain, and it is ridiculous. Do you see it? It should not be legal. This position. I put it in Koa. Look in Coalition. Yeah, right? Like, he's got a literal mountain between him and the enemy. That seems good. Ayo hey, does. Welcome to the Elite Garb, bro. I appreciate you. Hope you're doing well, man. What an amazing KVK so far. For sure, dude. Um, Check out my Liuchev video. And also my Skippy Prime video for the talents there. Chat says, Chisquil's not salty. Some players just trash talk and they don't really know what's going on. Chat says, the real rat attacking from behind only focus 60 XDD. Yeah, I guess we just time or hide those people. Because, like, at the end of the day, they just, like, I don't know if I can help them anymore. I don't know how to help them understand that we are attacking on literally every single vector in every single zone. So like, there's no focusing, there's no weirdness, we're literally hitting on every vector. Literally every vector we have. Rohan, I appreciate you, dude.
If GT wins this KVK, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. They're basically unbeatable if they win this KVK. I, I do think that, like, probably 1093 is the only kingdom in the game that could potentially beat 960. Maybe I'm wrong. Where's this rally going? Pawpaw rally. Must be this flag. Is that real Rolex? If so, I hope you're doing well, dude. I saw you dropped a ton of power. Dude is putting in the work. The real Rolex is putting in the work, man. Twenty six oh five can't burn ten ninety three fortresses that do not have any cities nearby for four straight days. Yeah, so this also represents a misunderstanding of reality. Let me help explain. When they get low on the forts, they bring their field there and they bring enough field that we can't handle it because you know they're a four alliance kingdom what are we talking about so they bring enough field that we can't handle it and they rebuild their forts that's what's happening are you hyped for age of empires Hopefully it's another step forward in this genre. Yeah, it could be cool, man. I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing more about the game for sure. Um, how's my KP looking? About one and a half billion kill points for this KVK so far. Most of that is fighting 1960. It's not easy KP, man. I mean, anyone who has actually fought 1960 understands that's the hardest KP you'll ever get. So these flags are burning, so we're chilling. This flag expands, which lets us burn this one too. That's a nice flag. This is a good one. This is, this is a good one. Yeah, we need someone close to actually deal with that. There used to only be one fort here. Then they put two FH forts here. So that's kind of newish. I mean, I think GT is trying to fill these, but they just don't have the bodies they need to get it done. They don't have the space for it.
GT using the same garrison with 2605 invented. We did discover it. We we did make that meta. I mean, 93 is burning a lot of stuff over here now. When does the Zig open? Just uh, under two days from now. Here comes a rally. I don't know where it's going. But 93 is very obviously in their uptime here. Fifty seconds? Where are we headed, baby? Have we played Era of a Conquest? Tried for a few days and it's a lot. It's a lot of what? I haven't played it and it's not ranked highly in the App Store, so. Man, these rallies come from downtown. And the thing is that like 93 just doesn't even have the... Or sorry, 960 doesn't even have the presence to be effectively counter-rallying here. Attila Liucha actually kind of slaps. But the garrison is better. The Gorgo Attila is better. I can't believe Attila is still a thing, man. I don't think they're going to give Attila a museum buff. I don't think they should. OV was in 50. 50? Maybe 52, actually. Jar says, wonder if Greenwood will come support 960 at past 7, looking kind of sus over there. Yeah, there is some kind of sus avoidance of 960 going on over there. But I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing for the KVK overall because right now 960 is not the overdog, 93 is the overdog. Why have an infantry garrison against an archer rally if archers counter that? Yeah, so I mean, in a perfect world, you might actually have the Attila combo. Attila, Gorgo secondary, in this case. Why playing at the field if they're outnumbered? They're like waiting for a shark circling its for its food. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough situation. This is 960 downtime, which I I never would have imagined they had a downtime, but they kind of do. And this is 93 uptime for sure. This is definitely 93 uptime. Did I get the rune? I probably got hit. Oh, I got the health rune. Let's go. Uh, this is sort of the same field that 93 has had all along. 
93 does not have the Zig yet. Will I play Age of Empires Mobile? Um, we gotta see what the game really looks like. I think it looks extremely promising. I think there is a very good chance that I will be playing that game. Nine sixty actually doing a good job filling here, it seems. Only way 93 is going to get this flag is with a swarm, and they don't want to commit the troops, it looks like. Because the flag is, I guess, staying full enough. 960 is still only farm filling? Could be. I mean, the farm strategy is like... I keep saying it, and people keep thinking I'm an idiot for saying it, but... Like, farms are going to determine who wins this KVK. It's really weird, but... There are so many billions and billions and billions of power and farm troops in this kvk it, it's let me help you understand there's the swarm by the way i believe that the 960 registration for this domain was 50 billion our registration was 30 billion now keep in mind that our main alliance started kvk at like 18 billion so that's 18 billion of mains, 12 billion of farms. GT was at about 21 billion power. But that means the difference between their domain registration and ours of 20 billion power. Okay. 3 billion of that is main accounts and 17 billion of that is farms. And farm troops. That's a lot of billions. That is a lot of billions, chat. GT, the leading four to pass, hoping 2605 will save them from 93. They should. They actually, unironically, should make space for us to drop a fort. I'm serious. Dude, wait. They should delete one. They'll just delete these forts. Let us in. I don't know. It would improve their chances for sure. I guess I don't need to be standing on the field, not paying attention to my troops. Like, these guys could build out of this pass. And they could take this here on kind of whenever they want. Very interesting. The G4s are cruising. Zig opens in two days. Now, if we look at power. GT is at 16 and a half billion. SW is at 14.3. The Lazy Lions are 13.3. The Scuff Tigers are 13.1, and the Trash Pandas are still 12. So 93 has got some punch accumulated still here. They still got some punch, and obviously GT at 16 and a half billion powers still has a lot of work they can do. Then you look around and it's like, wait, these G4s have a lot of power, chat. Chat, these G4s have a lot of power sitting around. 11.4, 10.8. 10 no nah, that's another 10 another 10 right here's a 93 alliance 9.3 8.9 so like the g4s have a lot of power if they could figure out how to mobilize it stuff could happen man 
if they can figure out how to get it swinging hard. I don't know, man. It's a weird KVK. This is a very weird KVK. The diplomacy was the weirdest I've ever seen. The way some of the zones were played leading up to Kingsland, I thought was really weird. And now here we are. It, and it's weird. Ooh, Piltong. Down to 103 million power. Jeez. 159 was his highest. My highest was 216, and I have 90 million dead tier fives, chat. Nine hundred million power of dead T fives. GG. Hall of Heroes for this KVK is almost all infantry. I gotta find a way to kill my archers. I guess it's just swarming stuff. guess we just swarm stuff, chap. Do you suspect 60 GT will have a Diplo talk with you guys again? Yeah, I mean, I think the only talk they would have with us is they'd be like, hello, welcome to our Diplo talk, and then they'd give us the middle finger. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they want to do Diplo. I don't think they like us very much, though. GT is over the river here, but... Oh, maybe it's just this one player just sneaking by Ghost Rider at 275 million power. Is this their king? I think it might be their king. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Is that Nico or is that an alt? Who normally is their king? They'd rather lose than let us in. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's that. I think that's likely true. They'd rather take an L than have a conversation with us. I think that's got to be true. We'll be burning here for a while, assuming they don't come back and clear this, this part of the field. But like, we burn these, then this needs to burn. Which, well, I guess these flags will be disconnected for whatever that's worth. Not much, honestly, though. But every little bit is something. Ooh, I want to see this flag. Wait, where'd Addy go? 
She's here. Dude, Addy's putting in the work. She's down almost 500 million power. Plate, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? I appreciate you. Dude, look at that. Addy's in the field. Dang. Addy got rallied by 93. Yeah, she did. I'm telling you, the KVK is won and lost with farms. How did they rally Addy? With 100% farms. 100% farms. Okay, maybe 99.9 because .9, the rally lead needed to have one troop, but you get the idea. Did 2605 fight G4s? We did fight G4s. We did. Yeah. That's how my farm got zeroed. Was filling a fort against a G4. It lost... My farm lost 10 million power hard filling a flag against 960. And then the rest I lost filling a fort against the G4s. SW is one of the most, if not the most popular alliance to hate on, for sure. For sure, dude. Hit that like button, let's freaking go. How drained is 93? Honestly, I'm not sure. It's so hard to say because, like, so much of the fighting is not mains, it's farms. I know that's, like, really weird sounding if you haven't ever experienced it, but, like, so much of the power loss is farms. So it's, like, hard to know what's happening. Only if you scan the entirety of the domain do you get a real sense of kind of, like, what is going on in this domain, KVK. And the flag goes down. There's only so much Piltong can do in that situation. Like, I really empathize because... Like, as an infantry garrison... Like, I can't be slamming multiple infantry marches into every flag. Or I'm gonna run out of infantry and then I can't garrison at all. Like, unlike a rally lead who can rally with one troop, I can't garrison unless I can put 400 plus into a flag. I regret not overtraining infantry more. I'm like actually shocked that I ne am, am needing so much infantry in this KVK. But the Attila combo with Gorgo is just unbelievable. It really changed things. It's just really unbelievable. A lot of GT stuff burning right now. <clears throat> the only thing not burning is this flag over here. Dude, I feel like this area has been really holding it down for GT for a long time. Ports are burning.
Sports are burning. Is there beef with the 12 o'clock G4s in y'all? I would not say that there's beef. Right? Like, this war camp originally was all in this zone. Uh, this zone. Hellenburg. And we had a fort here, and they were built up to this. And they rallied it for a whole day. They rallied the fort over and over and over and over and over. Um, personally, I think that's a m misallocation of their energy. Like, we were not the biggest threat if they were being, strictly speaking, optimal. I think they'd be going for bigger threats than us. But they haven't really attacked us recently, and I think they realize, like, we're not, we're not the problem for them. We're not really the problem for them. They, there's way bigger fish in this KVK that, that actually we are helping deal with. So, like, draining us didn't make sense for them. But they did it. People hate on 2605 for dumb reasons. There's never, never an actual good reason. Yeah, I mean, think about this. We take hard KVKs, even if it means we aren't going to win. We fight till the end of the KVK, even if we're losing. Like, we're not perfect, but no kingdom is. Flag building. Ooh. I gotta stretch a little here, chat. Oh my god. I kind of stand all day. Glad to hear you regret not going to 200 million. <laughs> I think if I had gone higher in power, I might have trained the wrong troops anyways. Like, I might have just done a more of a balance of cavalry and archers. But I don't know, maybe at some point in this week, if we do a training buff, I might do more infantry. Uh, it's it's possible I should have trained for the mightiest governor here and put like 10 million power on the board and infantry. That that might have been a good idea. Plus it would have put me in first for the mightiest governor. But this is going to change a lot between now and the end of MGE. I mean, I took only a small number of fights, I feel, and gained this many points. I took a fight this morning over a fort and a flag. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then, then you saw the other flag fight I did. That was on stream. You may as well train more infantry tomorrow to secure the new commander. Yeah, I'm not going to train, though, without a kingdom buff, to be honest. And I think we'll be doing a healing buff. So I think it's unlikely I'll train tomorrow. I think if somehow it looks like we have a way to win KVK, like actually hold the zig, I would train. But I, but I don't think that's very realistic. It looks like a weird KVK. It is a weird KVK. GT is grouping up over here and over here. This is going to be fun if they go for for this burn, and I think they will. Uh, no, I would not put gold heads into Xeno at this point. I don't think that's worth. People think that 93 is drained. I've never watched a KVK from them before. 
They got over 500 billion kill points as a kingdom last KVK and killed troops on purpose to drop Imperium. Yeah, I don't th I don't think 93 is drained yet. But I do think that it it will happen in this KVK. Like, I think it could happen in this KVK. 2605 will get hate as long as you're there. You just have to live with it. Yeah, I mean, I've said this many times, but it, it's worth repeating that, like, if you're in 2605, you need to have more self-confidence and mental toughness than almost any other kingdom in the game. Like, you, you just do. You need to have more mental toughness and self-confidence than almost any other kingdom in the game. Because people are always going to be assholes to us. They're always going to treat us differently than they treat any other kingdom. It just is what it is. This did not go well for 93. They sort of went left and then they went right. And now they're just getting pinched. That, did re that like really... I don't think it could go more poorly for them. The way that that just unfolded. They may still win this encounter, but, like, that whole, like, left-right maneuver, I feel like, did not favor them. Because now you have a whole GT ball moving in with full rage bars, and that's that's not what you want if you're 93. How much power does Yoda have? Uh, last I looked, he's, like, 570 million, somewhere in that range. Chadsky, thank you for the five gifted, bro. I appreciate you. Chadsky joins VC. He's actually in VC right now. Fought against 1647 in your Nile KVK, not much less power than you, but man, they still pack a punch. Yeah, they hit hard. Yo! <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh, you want to pop on stream? Yeah? Okay, hold on. Let's go to uh, recording chat, I guess. Oh, you moved me to recording chat. I didn't even know. Okay, hold up. Let me actually pump you through to the stream. All right, say something, Chadsky. <laughs> okay, they can hear you now. I'm GG. <clears throat> um, GG. GG, bro. Doing, this KVK. Uh, did you Always have something in particular always? you wanted to talk about, or or uh, <laughs> should I ask a few questions? No, it was. It's been a. It's been a week or so. Been a couple of I've been busy while you're streaming. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Like pretty much every day I stream this KVK, we'll hit around 1,600 people that pop in the stream. Oh yeah. Yeah. The Dude. um uh, so chat will remember, you were probably there for this chat ski when like two days ago I ended the stream pretty early because I had a, a mm -hmm. catch up meeting with a friend that I used to work with. Yep. He and I sort of used to run an incubator within a large company. That's like the oversimplified oh. explanation. And um, anyways, I was really hyped to catch up with him. So I get on the call with him after ending the stream. There was like 1,600 people watching. And I get on the stream. Or sorry, I get off the stream, get on the call. And he's like, hey, how's it going? And I hear his kid in the background having this insane tantrum. And he's like, I hate oh, to have Lord. to do this, but I think I gotta go address this. I was like, no worries, dude, no problem. Yeah. That would be the rock equivalent of a rogue in the kingdom. Dude. I, gotta do I mean, when a kid has a tantrum, it just is what it is. But I was like, man, I just ended a stream with 1,600 people watching <laughs> for this call. Uh, <laughs> GG. 
we're a little behind on the streams and I on the stream and I like the chat <laughs> quote ten flags burnt a day keeps the 960 victory away. Something. Oh wow, <laughs> GG. Um, you know it's funny we were a lot of people were saying and you can kind of see the 960 tactic here and I'm sure the stream sees it and chat and everybody. Um, they're kind of protected by some by some rivers here and. They're just, they're here to drain. That's all they want to do. The only issue and the only question I've got is, you know, 1093 is on fifth pop, right? And they have an abundance of players. We see this and they're massive. And they've honestly only been fighting since Tuesday. So for three days, like, yeah, I think 1093 has probably got a bunch of the tank. Like, <laughs> the oh, kingdom yeah. of that size. You're, 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 are they only good for a week of fighting? That's it? Like, <laughs> I'm, anyways, I'm pretty they sure they got a lot left in the tank, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. the this question is, is I mean, it, will it be crazy. enough yeah. when GT is hitting them and the G4s are hitting them and we're hitting on these passes? Like, I, I don't have the answer. But only the next week or so will will tell the tale, right? Like, the, we'll only know if ninety three is drained in like a week from now. Do you see what I mean? When there's like yeah, four like days left either. in the KVK, but they're out of of speeds and resources. That that's like when we'll know. It's like my old buddy used to say, "Hey, you don't have a legal matter until you have a legal matter." Uh, we won't know if ninety three is drained until ninety three is drained. Um, so. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The, uh, but I think overall, it, it's just been such a weird KVK. Free for alls are just stupid. I mean, we're going every, Actually, everywhere. Actually, I'm having everything. a lot of fun in this KVK. Like, I oh, agree with you. It, like, they, they are stupid, but like, actually, this has been pretty fun for this second part, especially. Yeah, I mean, let, to sum up the KVK, basically, we were locked in a cage with an Apex Predator for two weeks <laughs> and, and you were doing everything you could oh Justin, nice um thanks justin appreciate it dude you, you were doing everything you could to hurt him enough but not provoke him to just go full catatonic on you and try to kill you and so <laughs> um it was well, a lot of fun zone five and six and here's the other part people who are running kingdoms and people who you know do leadership and stuff I, I dare you, I dare you to take on the task of getting locked in a zone with 960. Now, the only advantage you have is that they don't want to drain themselves on you. To get locked in a zone with 960 for two straight weeks and keep your players engaged. Good luck. <laughs> it's a lot of time and attention and mental energy and just it staring is. contest meta for sure. You know, but but I think we were able to kind of fight on our terms and and uh, not get not get roped into the to the uh, constant field fighting. You're just going to get crushed there. But be smart now. You do it. Pounce when you need to, and we did it the best we could. And now that everything's kind of opened up, um, it's it it's a lot of fun now. I mean, there's just stuff going everywhere. People are like, "Well, are there any allies? Are there any backdoor?" backdoor deals and stuff it's like what are you kidding me <laughs> we're like hammering 93 at that north pass <laughs> we're, we're hammering g4s we're hammering 960 they're hammering uh, every 93 93's hammering g4 i mean we're all just fighting each other <laughs> i feel like this kvk could have been, have really unfolded in some very different directions so it's going to be interesting to see if 960's choice to remove us from the zone six and not have a pass to Kingsland works out well for them or not. And like we'll yeah, only no, I mean, really they know they, later yeah, on. They, 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 the, I mean, basically the scenario is right now that 93 is so overwhelming and 960 um, is still 960 but they have to give all their attention to each other and they have lit little bits of time here and there to divert their attention to go take care of something <laughs> but they can't 
I mean, it's time consuming with territory. If you want to really drive people or if you want to drive another kingdom out of a zone or really out of your face, it just takes a lot of time. And if that's a good kingdom um, that knows how to defend and knows how to fight, and it's going to take a lot of people, you're, you're, you're basically griefing yourself in King's Land. So I, th I think it's so even right now with how the, the territory is set up to where neither 93, because we got 93 players hitting us like, yeah, hitting us up and sending us messages it's like, hey, will you guys stop hitting us? You know, we're having to deal with these forts up here and we're just like, what are you talking about? It's an FFA. And they're like, yeah, true. We get it. <laughs> but if they've got to go deal with that for hours and hours and hours and not just like, hey, 50 minutes here, a couple hours. Um, then they grief themselves. And the same thing with 9 960. You know, 960 has done really, really good at prodding and poking. And if they find an opportunity to to destroy a flag we're building or keep us from getting a burn or something, they'll go do it for 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. But then that's it. The minute they turn back to Kingsland, everything's burning. You know, so they've got a. It, it's just a weird dynamic that it's in right now. And so I think um, the thing that is easy to forget is that like we're not the kind of kingdom that's just gonna roll over and die, right? Like we're not just no. gonna be like, oh, 960 won the zone, we quit KVK. Um, a lot of people have that mentality, um, but as a kingdom, we're gonna keep going. And so what is surprising to me is they didn't think about like, okay, so when that happens, where where is 2605 gonna go? And the only place to go is to hit 1960 because that's literally the only option they gave us now we also were yep. hitting 93 but 93 is got four alliances right somewhere between three and four so like we don't have the numbers to actually take out these forts when they go and rebuild them speaking of which uh the forts are healing we got to go hit those uh the what's what's interesting about that though is that we'll send a good contingent of players we'll send like a third of our alliance over there to um, mayhem and disrupt over there. And then 93 will send a contingent and they'll build a flag and we'll kill it. And then they'll build another flag and we'll kill it. And a every time we're killing a flag, they're just bringing more and more numbers. And they're gonna they're gonna put as many people there as they need to to take care of what they gotta take care of. Yep. And then from there, um, so so that's, that, I mean, that's the ability 93 has, but at, at, at the same time, I mean, guys, like, listen, we just, we got a ton of players that have fought Imperiums and, you know, we we the the kind of numbers speak for themselves when we're locked in a cage with 960. We fought on our terms. We didn't drain ourselves by any means uh, because the the kill points between 960 and us were pretty close. I mean, they, they got us on the kill points, but not by much. I mean, it's not like they two for one us <laughs> or anything like that. So, with that being said, um, you know, it's just you, you got to keep everybody motivated, and and when you're when you're building and burning and wrecking things then that's that's what makes it a lot of fun so yeah so there's a comment in the chat i want to address and i've already addressed it like a dozen times in the stream so apologies to the people who already deeply understand this but they say 2605 could definitely have gotten that pass and burn 93 forts by now wonder why they haven't um so if you look in kingsland and you see 1960 can't handle 1093 i'm not sure why you think that us as a smaller kingdom in 2605 can handle 93. We have burned those forts down. I think we're on the third cycle now, maybe the yep. fourth, yep. where yep. they basically get low. They delete them themselves, build flags in front, then rebuild them. And we can get some burns on them in the process of their doing that, but we're not able to take them down. Yep. So- Yeah, I mean, and that's a numbers game. Like, like even, if we, even if we send 50 players over there, um because we're in the same boat they, they always send more the they always send more than they're we send so however much we send them. they just send more and for them rebuilding those forts is a bigger priority than anything else on the map because it stops us from really harming them in any meaningful way yep. so like we will we will never be able to take those forts in that territory if they don't want us to correct literally right. that's, it is not possible that's not yeah. to say we aren't trying the most some of the most fun i've had is fighting for, around those forts like it's very fun but like the idea that we can take down those forts and should have invaded is like very unrealistic the only way yeah. we get through those forts is if they let us and they only let us if they don't uh contribute enough to the defense to actually stop us 
Mm -hmm. And they, it is fully within their control to contribute more than we can contribute because they're just three times our size. Mm -hmm. Easy, yeah, easily. Yeah. So that hopefully yeah, that sad, explanation but, helps people understand, like why it is that we have no further attack vectors against ninety three. But this will be as long as nine sixty kind of has their, they're boxed in here. But as long as they kind of have their area. <laughs> This might be like one of the longest drawn out King's Land like ever. Um, hey, we gotta go burn this court real quick. So let's go do that. I'm gonna jump in. Is the Ford healing? Yep. 93 or? No, oh, the other one. What's this guy doing? <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Or we'll, we'll, we'll jump up there. Let's... Yeah, so I'll just jump back to the other voice. All right. All right, we burned it. Chadsky rally the city, bro. You see it? It's off territory GT city. Juanana. <laughs> they have resources. Uh, not really, actually. JK. They don't even have many troops. I don't know how worth it this is. Oh, they bubbled. <laughs> I see you. Okay. Did we want to do that now or do we want to do that maybe in an hour when it's free? I don't think we need to do that though, do we? Yeah, I guess we have storehouse for that sort of stuff. Okay. I mean, I think we could take the more advantageous flag that's touching. It's just, you know, we got to defend it for 20 minutes. Or we can, yeah, or we can just wait an hour and do it in an hour. All right. Right. I don't know, I'm treating every, fra every flag like it's super critical that it'd be perfect, but. That's cool. I don't know how many burns this thing has left. Maybe only one or two.
Chat says, if 960 offered to ally with us, would we? No, it's a free-for-all, KVK. We agreed to free-for-all, man. All right, let's go back and look at King's Land, I think. Let's just make sure this is burning. I think someone's taking care of it. Is someone taking care of that 93 fort? It's still not burned. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. Great. Glad to hear that that's not something that needs attention. Repairing. Dude, we got Sean over here chilling. Ooh, this looks like it's going to be fun. All right, chat, I'm going to do a quick bio. Be right back. Oh, here's the rally. See, you even have something entertaining to watch. BRB. Ooh, flag burned. GG. Do you think if 960 can stay in King's Land while weekend happens, they're going to win? I mean, I think the longer that 960 chills in King's Land, the better it gets for them. The longer they can drain 93, the better for them. They just need time. And the question is if they can get enough time to do the drain or not. I don't know if they can drain enough in the time that they have. Because the best way to drain is definitely in the garrisons with the farms, which is what 960 is trying to do. Oh, did they not get a burn here? Or did they just burn a different one? I'm not sure. Here comes their rally. Must have been a different one. Cool. Looks like an Attila Ucha, baby. Oh, GT's uh, taking a tactic out of our playbook. They just pop out of the cities and swarm the rally. Good for them.
Dude, they're filling the heck out of this garrison. Osno is close to 70 billion kill points. Dude, that's crazy. That's so crazy. Swarm is in here. But it's only like a partial swarm, which is kind of awkward. Those swarming marches might have hit it by accident because they are running it down in a way that makes no sense. Like, you pull off that garrison at that point. Oof. And like, that one choice to swarm there, like, will make this garrison trade insanely positive. Like, whatever happens next, that garrison's going super positive. For sure it is. Yeah, dude, that guy that guy can't be swarming. There's 75 million power. They, they just lost, like, 3 or 4 million power doing that. Now they're swarming for real. Woo! And it's gone. GG. Well, that one guy softened it up for them, am I right? Biggest mistake 960 or 93 can make is to overcommit to 2605. I think that's fair. Dillinger, 2605. Dude, welcome to the Elite Guard. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 60 new members this stream. Let's freaking go. 50 of them gifted from Figaro. Very generous. Chadsky also dropped in with five gifted. Appreciate you, man. Like just said, GT doesn't have enough time to drain 93. I mean, technically, they may get... Like, so, so if they do get pushed out, the question then becomes, when and how do they drain them? And I guess it's on these passes? But that's just, like, a lot harder to do. And then at that point, if if 93 is defending, like, they can... It's a lot easier to defend with farms than it is to fill with farms. Your hairline is busy fighting 960? Bruh. My hairline got zero long ago. I, long, long ago. I don't know what you're talking about. No river GT would have been out of Kingsland yesterday. I think the river is very strategic, but you can't blame them for taking a strategic position, you know? Why are people hating on 960 for no reason? It's so fascinating that people can send so much hate my way and be like, wait, why are you hating on me? It's very interesting. Like the haters are like, what? wait, how, why are you hating in my direction? As if they don't just do it in other people's directions. Like they don't understand, huh? How's that confusing? Sixty is fighting two kingdoms at the same time. That's honorable. We're fighting two kingdoms at the same time. That's honorable. We we are pushing ninety three, and we're pushing nineteen sixty. We're pushing two of the biggest kingdoms in the game. What do you, huh? What?
Yeah, 93 is fighting everyone. Yeah, the, the only kingdom really fighting everyone is 93. 93 is actually fighting everyone. They were fighting the G4s, they're fighting us, and they're fighting 1960. They're actually fighting everyone. Twenty six oh five won't reach Kingsland in time. Uh, I don't know when we'll get to Kingsland, if at all. It's hard to say. Some of these comments are complete nonsense. I don't like to hide users from the channel, but like, if you're stupid enough, I'll have to do it. Stupid enough? Trolly enough. I don't know what the right word is, Chad. If you troll hard enough, maybe that's, maybe that's the way to say it. Sugar coating their defeat and roll of bug in the map? What is, what bug is there in this map? What, what map bug are you talking about, man? I swear, people have the weirdest things to say. What map bug? The amount of mental gymnastics it takes to cry how it's unfair for 1960 is actually just really impressive. Chiskul's hairline got zeroed back when Julius was meta for city rallies. Probably was before that, honestly. Is Sargon and Skippy the best infantry pairing? Yeah, I think. I think actually it's Liu Che and Skippy. Sorry. Liu Che and Skippy together. Rivers are a freaking nightmare. True. His school hairline disappeared when his daughter was born. It disappeared long before that, my friend. Nine sixties MVP is the river. Nothing wrong with being strategic, man. It's funny. When I think they're being strategic, I say nothing wrong with being strategic. When they think we're doing something strategic, well, when when haters say what we're doing is. That, that I would call strategic. They would say, you're a rat, you're scum, it's not honorable. Bro, what the hell? How, how dare 1960 use terrain? Not honorable. It's crazy. Well, you have not pushed 93 over the past from what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, I've already explained this three or four times. Grinding hard on pre-KVK while watching this? Let's go, Zeno. Let's go. Fennel. Dude, thank you for gifting a membership. I appreciate you, dude. 960 will just outlast everyone in this kingdom by using the power of money and economy. I guess we'll see. City rally, please, chat says. I don't think we have any cities to rally right now.
GT is disbanding after Zig, it's confirmed. I don't think so, man. Tarek, dude, thank you for five gifted, bro. I appreciate you, man. Another fort. Hooray. This circle is actually good, though. This circle is actually outstanding. We can't get to it in this cycle. And who knows if we'll get to it at all, but... That is a really nice circle. Imagine having to fight against 960 with a, with a holy sight disadvantage. Welcome to our KVK. Let's look over here. Repairing? Ooh. Ooh. YSS Captain? What is going on here? Oof. That's a choice. Hiya. There's a Hera on the field over here. Did the garrison captain get out? What happened? Ooh, building a flag. Hey, yo! Just cool. My kingdom goes into KVK today. Any tips? Um, yeah, keep your city safe. Don't get zeroed. Anytime you go offline in a war zone, you should bubble or you should port back to the starting zone. Kai pros. No, I haven't tried any of that stuff. You should have a time card. You're right. I should have a timestamp to go back to the explanation. All right. The timestamp's going to be at two minute, two hours and 31 minutes. Okay. Anytime someone's like, why aren't you attacking 93 more? You go to the two hours and 31 minute mark. And here's what I'm going to say. We have been keeping the 93 forts burning consistently. And if you think that we're supposed to be able to outmatch 93 in the field when 960 is outmatched by them in the field, I don't know how to help you out. <laughs> okay? If 960 can't take them in the field, we certainly can't take them in the field. And what they basically do is they take over the field, delete their own fort that's about to burn, they put down flags to protect a fort build, finish that, then they drop forts behind them. And we can get maybe some burns on the flags after they've built. Sometimes we take out the burning flag or building flags, but for the most part, we can't outmatch them in the field. They just commit more than we have, and they rebuild. And it is what it is.
Chat, I don't know. This is looking rough for 960. Maybe over the course of the next 12 days, they'll get drained? Question mark? Twelve days left. In terms of honor, I'm 12th. I don't think I'll maintain this rank, though. I think it's very unlikely that I maintain that rank. Very unlikely. I have a 30k buffer. It ain't much, chat. It, it ain't much. TP back, don't bubble. Yeah, most of the time when people bubble, it's not a good idea. I wonder where these guys are going. Are they just protecting their sanctuary? Like, they don't even want to mess with this? Very interesting. Man, all this land getting eaten up by the G4s, yo. G4s are just freaking taking over. But 93 has the holy sites they need, presumably. There's 5% defense. That's also defense. Weird. What about this one? That's also defense? Bro, what the heck? They actually are missing a holy site. 5% attack. What? Wait, they don't have access to a 5% attack holy site. That's so weird. Bro, what the heck is this map? How is it that all those herons are defense? I don't, I don't understand. Like this one that 960 can access is defense. This one's attack. Huh? Did I just like misread it or something? This one's attack. I don't get it. This one's defense. This fort has maybe one more heal on it. Do we have a rally pinned on the BH fort? I don't think so. Yeah, I think it'd be good to pin one if we could. That way we can just let it rip when we're ready, you know? Oh, wait, it can't repair anymore? Oh, it's done. Oh. Okay. Vader Sith has got the boldest barb fort rally I've ever seen. Oh my god, he's just marching through their territory.
All right, Vader, Seth, you think, you think you're going to get away with it somehow? I am impressed. Oh, there it is. Got him. Level 15 barb for it. Hey, yo, I need some of those in my life. It, yeah, Pakal is definitely a deterrent. He's not even hiding it behind something. It's just like, you want to hit it? I'll just show you the Pakal. Yeah, this GT flag looks uh, like it's in some trouble. Get a little refresh on my rune here. Oh, I think my march is gonna get hit. He's tra chasing my one troop with a one troop. GG. I didn't make it chat. Just try for the rune again at a random time. We got about a day and three quarters for the Zig to open. So it'll be like 15 UTC. Not a day from now, but like two days from now. My Gorgo Garrison is not full health. Yeah, it's good enough. Flag is full-ish, full enough. We're chilling. It's all good. Call Lapu Lapu? No, I don't think that's a particularly good combo. comes the rally. GG, here it is.
Seems like some of these flags GT is able to fill really well. Are you sure it isn't four days? Yeah, I'll show you the Chronicles. We're in the Zig Chronicle. It's got like a day and eight hours left. And then 12 hours after that, the Zig opens. I think there's a 0% chance that 960 can get first cap on the Zig. I think at this point, it's like a 100% chance that 93 will get first cap on the Zig. Why is your kingdom not going for Kingsland? I mean, help me understand how we would get there. We went against one of the strongest, certainly the most feared kingdom in the game, 1090, uh, or sorry, 1960, to try to gain access to Kingsland. Then we didn't get it. So, like, I don't know what more we could do to have tried to have been in Kingsland. It would absolutely have been better for 960 if we were in Kingsland. 100% would have been better for them. Swarms in on the flag. Swarmers are taking only 1k. Yeah, the, this thing is going to pop. There it is. And now they set up on this flag, chat. 960 can't do anything during 93's uptime, and in their downtime, they aren't gaining any significant amount of territory. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Here comes the rally. Think Lapu Lapu would be better than YSS for City Garrison? Yeah, I think so. For sure. Uh, the next Cav Commander will be a Garrison. We recently got Justinian, which is a Cav Rally, so the next up is a Garrison for sure. I, I would give it like a 100% chance that it's a Fielder and a Garrison, honestly. There's the Swarm. Swarmer's taking 3k. 4k, 3k, 2k, 3k. This thing's gonna pop. Yep. I mean, they're making 93 work for it. I just don't know if they can drain them enough. They, they just go from flag to flag to flag and light them up, man.
GT power is pretty much unchanged. I mean, I think GT is just trying to kill off farms. Chat says, let those big whales drop power. Honestly, I think they're just draining their farms. I mean, you can see farm, 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 main, farm, farm. I, I don't know how many times I'll say that this KVK is won and lost with farm troops, but it really is. Farm. This one's a main, obviously. How is the great 1960 losing field control? They're just outnumbered. They're totally outnumbered in the field. If you get into Kingsland now, you just get out there within a few minutes of 93 or 960 using a, f a few players. Well, I think you're missing the point. The point of a free-for-all is that you want your enemies to be even. So if 960 was going to be smart about it, they would have led us into Kingsland. And they would have ignored us and just focused 93. And then we would be looking to see who's winning and we would try to keep it even between them. That would have been the smartest thing. Don't underestimate 1960. They cannot be drained. Everyone has years of speedups and tons of resources. The only way to win is to eliminate their chances ASAP and force them into too many front lines. If GT Wales committed to fill flags like Yoda does, they wouldn't have lost as many flags in Kingsland. I think that's almost certainly true. But I think they're under direction from their king to just fill with farms still. As weird as that sounds. Yeah, I'm here. Is that guy's name Cheese Monkey? We got ch a Cheese Monkey swarming the flag. Let's go. Nine sixty is still playing the long game. I think that is almost certainly true. And the long game is truly the only game to play. Yoda is insane. 500 million power loss and multiple KVKs. He's crazy. Will he break his own record of the most deads in a single KVK? It is certainly possible. Get a look around. Oof.
Ooh, repairing flags. Can we get some flag reports? Uh, what do you think of the chances 960 is going to give me a flag report? I think it's nearly zero. I'm pretty sure they zero you in that kingdom if you share your reports. So I don't think I'm getting any reports from them. Um... Oh, man. Uh, any... Those rally reports? Fourteen hundred people watching that would love to see. Hey, yo. 293,000 to 314,000. Gorgo Attila is what they're using. Let's look at the troop buffs here. So, they've got 296.9 attack. That feels like a lot to me. 208 defense, 96.8 health. And they are missing a crit on one of their. Accessories, presumably? Yeah. I guess it's one of the health things. Um, okay. If we compare this to, like, the stats I get, it would be kind of interesting. But also, you can see, look, look at all these T4s. Farm, farm. Oh, Leopard actually filling. Okay. Benjamin and Yubi. Yeah, they got some big ones going in there, actually. They got some big ones going in there. Um, let's look at my my reports here. Mine are going to be kind of old, though. I don't know if it's going to show me the, the troop buffs. Dang. It's been a minute since I've used Gorgo and Attila. That's 219. There's no way. Yeah. Oh, so I had 289 attack, 218 defense, and 105 health. I got more stats than they do. One eighty four to two twenty six. That's the Pelton Garrison. He has less attack, two hundred and seventy two percent attack, but a hundred and seventy four defense. That's low, isn't that low? But a hundred and seventeen point two. So he's he's prioritizing health over everything by a long shot. He's got more health than your typical garrison does. Interesting. He's got way more health. Attila Liu Chad. That turned out well. Oh. Yeah. So this is Hera and YSS as a backup garrison.
385 to 335. Henry Ash. Dude, this name. Like, do I have to block this guy because of this guy's name? I feel like I have to. <laughs> what a name. Oh boy. Bro. That's just inappropriate. <laughs> what a guy. All right. Well, trolls are the reason we can't have nice things, chat. But to be honest, the thing I take away from those reports is that, like, there's a pretty inconsequential amount of troop loss going on. Like, it's not very significant for each flag. Like, each burn is not even costing, the you know, like a million troops. Now, granted, that is from the perspective of the rally, not from the garrison. So maybe the swarmers, it, it adds up to more. It's got to be true. Mini project. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you for the five months, man. Well, stuff is burning. In what world is GT winning this? The one in which 93 it can be drained. I don't know if that world exists, but that's how they would do it. The spanking potatoes actually, dude, they're actually capturing their passes. They actually took the pass. That's very interesting. I wonder what was the motivation to now take the pass. They're not even building in. Haven't taken this one yet. Something about rock that it removes the integrity from people. I mean, I think it's just the internet in general. A lot of flags burning. Although, a lot of flags were pairing, surprisingly.
It's always the people who can't form <laughs> coherent sentences. Lamau. Look at GT's power. I don't think it's really changing much. It's possible that uh, the power rankings don't update, though. Let's see if the uh, let's see if we get a different number if I look at their alliance, shall? Yeah, actually, their power is going. It's dude, they're going up in power, chat. Win all 13 seasons, chat. KVK win all 13 seasons. What is this guy doing? This guy's like KP chasing instead of fighting in Kingsland. It's kind of weird. Chat, why fighting Kingsland when you could KP chase? Am I right? Flawless. Cheers, dude. I appreciate you, man. Couple billion of each resource. Eh, they got more resources than I do, almost. Oh, guess they don't want to stay. Bye to Kingsland with you. Where's Osno? Uh, I don't know where he is. And apparently, the rankings only update periodically, so it's not a real-time ranking, but. Osno's at almost 70 billion kill points. GG. What's up?
Two o'clock and now we're day drunk. Love it when we hate fuck. Nobody can change us. Where are they going? Yeah, we got something special, but I cannot be the main act in a viral. Tell me what you can do when they catch us, when they pull out big guns and they blast us. Ooh, it's the king. Is Sean the king now? Cool. Ooh, rally's in. Or maybe it's just getting swarmed poorly. Could be a whoopsie daisies. I think it might be a whoopsie daisies situation. Oopsies. Didn't mean to swarm that. What does Alliance kill point rankings look like? GT at 2.7. SW currently at under 1.4. GT is honestly, you could round that up to 2.8. 2.8, 1.4, 1.3. One, and then almost one again. Wow. Kinda crazy. Someone swarmed Sean City. Ooh, 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 that would hurt. Oh my god, that would hurt. Tragic. I think that war camp is sympathetic to 960 because 960 cleared the field for them to uh, take down the forts, remember? That's my guess. Chadsky, um, we about ready where my garrison is. I don't know if we want to empty out the garrison I'm in, because we really don't need troops in there anymore.
I just don't know which way they're gonna go. I don't know where we're putting it, but I'm here. Is that the plan? Yeah, I love that answer. Woohoo! Oh, I am so happy about that, you have no idea. I'm currently 12th, and I have a 30k buffer. But like, you may recall I had a 100k buffer. Hey, when we're not getting alters, it shrinks real fast. Um, my mind, body, and soul are ready for this flag. I don't think they're going to go, actually. I'd be shocked if they go. I think they get... Alright, who's doing this flag drop? I am. Oh, shoot. Okay. I got it. I got it, Brewski. No problem. <laughs> I meant it in a very loving way. Um, fill up this flag, please. You could put in small troop amounts if you want. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Don't fill it all the way. Um, okay. Chat 
Chat says 17,480 extra troops from Iconics is actually a pretty significant amount. It only cost me a very, very, very pretty penny. For those of you wondering what gear I'm using, it was a very pretty penny. <laughs> and I'm not done yet. Needs more pennies. Actually, there's not many more pennies I can commit to this. I can work on the ring. I can work on the hammer. And obviously the helmet, but like I need more of these stupid coins that are going to take me forever to get. How does 1 billion kill points, tier 5s, and 11 million deaths as a free-to-play sound? Second season of Conquest? Sounds like you're cruising. See, this is the crazy part. It's like these flags are repairing. They're actually holding them. Ooh. This flag is pretty tough to burn with Sean right on top of it. Does the artifact work on leadership commanders like it does on Attila? Uh, it's just giving me stats. It's not changing any troops over. Like, we can look at this report and I can show you. So you can see it's not changing anything of the troop type stats here. Like it did over here. You see it changed that to infantry. There's nothing that changes over here. It just gives me 3.5% of stats or whatever. These guys are getting a lot of fighting for their mightiest governor, that's for sure. These guys have been doing so much bridge fighting. Oh my god. King skill? Is there a rally or something? Ooh. XY in the flag? Pops out. GT King skill.
What was my starting power this KVK? Uh, almost 200 million, I think. But what I really need is an excuse to train more infantry. That's what I need. Kinda crazy. Watching this game is much less expensive than playing. True. Big true. All right, the flag that I'm in is still building. Seven minutes left. All right. Things seem to be pretty calm. And we're kind of just watching these guys slug it out. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab some lunch at like 3 in the afternoon. So if you enjoyed the stream, do me the honor of throwing a like on here. Consider subscribing. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow and the next day and the next day. I don't know what happens next could get really amped up depending on what people do. It's so hard to know what people are going to do. And the clock is ticking from these G4s where like at some point they actually start pushing this land that is guarding King's Land. Maybe. I guess we'll see what they do. I guess we'll see. If you enjoyed the stream, throw a like on here. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom. Take care, everybody. I'll see y'all real soon.